Okay, guys, so well, last week, I didn't catch it on video, but I got bit in the arm. It's been about 10 days, and it's still, you can see the ring of the bruise. Hopefully, nothing will happen today. And uh, But I got Micah to take the bite today. You ready? <laughs> he says, uh-huh. Micah's a volunteer here at the Reptile Zoo. Oh. The good news is she's really mellow. The bad news is even the mellow ones bite when you're taking their babies. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, it's Sunday, and uh, this snake here is going to make a bunch of world's first. We're pretty sure. Oh, she's thinking about it. Okay, I forgot a snake hook. I know where it's at. Whoa, snake hook. Uh, like I said, she's mellow, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Everybody over here is getting a show behind me. <laughs> okay, okay, girl, you ready? All I want to do, all I want to do is take your eggs. She wins. I mean, it's calm down. Uh, okay, so here's the deal. Everybody right about now is wondering, why is he going to take her eggs? Why don't you just leave them with the female? It's real simple, because the babies will die. The highest majority of babies will die if it's left with her. In captivity, it's probably even worse than the wild, and in the wild, almost none of them survive. So the idea is that it's worth it to me to take the risk of getting bit to have the baby survive. Now you gotta find the container. But I guess I can survive without the container. Okay, girl. Okay. As soon as I get her off, but I gotta find the container. You want to do me a favor? Look inside that incubator. Here, you've got to go behind me. Oh, what do you think, Micah? Awesome. <laughs> what was your name? Micah. Okay, <laughs> I made a mistake. I can't remember my own name, especially who's special with a snake striking at me. It's empty one. It should be right there about that clear one. Find one that has no eggs in it. Yeah, that's clear. Okay, there we go. So she laid a nice clutch. Now she's gonna have world first in coloration. So she's a velvet and we bred her to a motley tiger and a bunch of jeans on. So it should be something that nobody's ever seen before. A few things and uh, I usually know exactly what anybody else has seen. Come on girl. So now I gotta, now I gotta take a risk here. The idea is that I kept her calmed down a little bit. Come on, oh, 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 oh. look at this guys. This is what you really, this is what you want to do. This is the way you want it to make it look like. <laughs> All done. <laughs> now I still got to put her away. So I'm gonna, we put it, now we keep them in a smaller enclosure because of the temperatures. They do really well like that. Oh boy. She doesn't even know I've got all her eggs yet. Uh, because they don't do well in bigger enclosures with big gradients and temperatures. They do much better in a smaller, small, so a lot of people ask crazy questions like, why do you put them in this little box? Well, we don't put them in a little box. They get in a little box because that's where they feel safe. If this box was smaller, if we put two boxes in it was smaller and they both had the right temperature, I promise you'll go in a smaller box than even this because they want to lay their eggs where they're safe. And the less ground that they have to protect, come on, this is where it gets a little bit. Now, here's a good part. Typically, a couple minutes after you get them off their eggs, they, they return to their normal self. The bad news is she's still in her box where she thinks those eggs are still at. So I'm kind of, so, oh, okay, there we go. So now we're gonna put her back in. So now she's starting to act more normal again. Oh, because of course now the funny part is snakes do not even maternally take care of their eggs except pythons during the incubation period. As soon as the babies are born, people ask me, you ever put the babies back together with the mother? Well, the fact of the matter is, in the wild, the mother sometimes will crawl out. As the eggs start to hatch, the mom will take off. The babies go off every direction. There's no maternal uh, part after the babies are born. Most snakes just lay the eggs and leave. That's it, but not pythons. So they're like crocodiles. Now, crocodiles are actually more maternal. They'll actually stay in the area. And if a baby gets in trouble, they call. <clears throat> Believe it or not, I lost my breath a little bit from that thing striking me, striking at me. They'll, they'll actually call for their mother and make noises and the mothers will come to rescue them. And so you gotta be really careful around water where there's baby crocodiles that they start calling. And uh, so here we go. So the, all these eggs are fertile, every single one. It's a small clutch, but even with a small clutch, we still have low odds to get the crazy genes that we're working on. In the wild, 
so in the wild, people always tell me, oh, well, they do so much better in the wild. They really don't. So pythons lay, this is a small clutch. So this is, let's see how many eggs we got here. We got two, four, six, <coughs> eight, 10, 12, 13, 14 eggs in this clutch. And, and so that's a really small clutch. In the wild, these, this snake maybe five years from now will lay, you know, 50 eggs. And so they lay maybe four or 500 eggs in their lifetime, but yet think about it, they're a threatened species. And if they're a threatened species, if they just had two babies, they're maintaining themselves out of four or 500 eggs. So now all of a sudden you start doing the math, it's less than half a percent survival rate in real life. Otherwise it'd be everywhere if every egg survived. Now in captivity, it's gonna be a lot different, especially with a clutch like this that looks so fertile. Well, the eggs are big, fat, and white. They usually always do well. When every egg looks like that, they, they really have a great possibility. So we probably, we should hatch maybe every single egg in this particular clutch would be my guess. And if you set your dates here, 84 days, guess what? You can come back, check it out, and see if I'm right or not. So in about five days, we have one of the coolest clutches we've ever had in our life can hatch. And so I hope you guys get a chance to see it. Uh, I hope I get a chance to see it because <laughs> nobody's guaranteed tomorrow. But anyway, they're called panda pides and they're hope we're hoping to get high white panda pied reticulated pythons. Can you imagine a 20 foot snake? These are the longest snakes in the world. A 20 foot snake with big white, white and black bands on it would be really, really cool. It looked like a cartoon. But anyway, hope you guys are enjoying everything. If you have any good questions, if you have any questions, all questions are good, drop them down below. And uh, we're going to go 